hello friends i welcome you to my youtube channel mac pm so in today's video we will solve this variation of shear stress across this i cross section beam so we have to calculate the shear stress distribution across this flange then web then flange how shear stress vary across this section then what we have to do we have formula for the shear stress q is equal to f upon b i into a into y bar so what are these terms so q is shear stress f is equal to shear force b is the width of the section and i is moment of inertia of the whole cross section then a is the area of this section suppose uh, this is i section for better standard understanding i am drawing another diagram so suppose this is an i section and we are choosing and cross section AA then if we have to find shear stress at this cross section then we have to consider area above this cross section so this area will become A and this Y bar will become distance of this a, uh, this area neutral axis from the neutral axis of this whole cross section ok so this distance is y bar distance of the chosen cross sections uh, uh, centroid from the centroid of the whole cross section okay so i hope you understand up to here now first of all for calculating this formula we have to find the moment of inertia of this cross section so moment of the inertia of this cross section will become first of all we, we will find out for this bhq by 12 so this is 180 into h is 10 we can tell 1 by 12 common vhq by 12 or we can write like this vhq by 12 plus <coughs> we can see that this cross section is symmetrical across this suppose this is x this is y axis then across this origin this section is symmetrical so its neutral axis will be at this point or centroid will be at the middle of this i cross section okay so if we have to calculate the centroid of uh, moment of inertia of this section then we can parallel axis theorem we can see that bhq by 12 plus 180 area into distance square so 180 into 10 into distances this is 10 mm so distance will be this is 400 so from here it will become 200 and up to here from centroid this is 10 so centroid will be 10 by 2 is equal to 5 mm so 200 minus 5 195 195 to the square so this is the moment of inertia of this part and we can see that this is symmetrical and similar to this so simply we can multiply by 2 so we can get moment of inertia of this and moment of inertia of this we are already contributed then plus moment of inertia of this portion this web portion will be b b is 10 width is 10 and to height is 400 minus 10 minus 10 20 so 380 cube divided by 12 and the centroid of this web and centroid of the whole cross section coincides at this point so distance is 0 so ad square will be d is 0 so ad square will be 0 so this is the moment of inertia of this cross section if we calculate this then you will find 182.6466 into 10 to the power 6 mm to the power 4 because if you calculate this will take a lot of time so please calculate in the calculator and you will find this value now if you see this formula then if you see that if area is 0 then this shear stress will become 0 so if we uh, suppose this is a large section i section so if we select this section at this point if suppose we are finding shear stress then area above this point is 0 so a y will become this a y will become zero so shear stress uh, q suppose this is point a a then shear stress a, a will be zero similarly at this point two 
it will become 0. Suppose this is BB, this is C, C, this is DD. So similarly, uh, this area, is, this I section is symmetrical about DD centroid. So value, uh, value which is here, value, same value will be here. So QAA is 0, so QA stress at this point will be 0. Suppose we are selecting this bottom portion of this top flange. So area will become this one and distance of centroid this is 10 from the figure we can see this is 10 so this is 10 then this will become 5 half of this will be centroid so this will become 5 and this one is already we know then this is 200 this is 200 so 200 minus 10 is 190 so this one is 190 so if we put in the formula q is equal to f upon b i into a y then we will get f already given 100 kilo newton so 100 it is in kilo newton so we can convert in newton 100 into uh, 1000 newton upon b is this this is 180 so 180 mm into i we have already calculated i is the value of i is 182.6466 into 10 to the power 6 mm power 4 into area is the area is 180 this is 1 180 into 10 so 180 into 10 into this distance is 190 plus 5 195 so if you calculate this then we will get 1.068 newton per mm square this is the shear stress at this portion now if we have to calculate the shear stress at top of this web portion at c c then what will be the shear stress then area will be same the only variation is this uh, width will become this one which is 10 see in the figure it is given 10 so if you calculate again then q is equal to f upon b i into a into y bar so if you see q f is given 100 kilo newton into 1000 newton divided by b is this is 10 into i is 182.6466 into 10 to the power 6 into area is this area is same so area will be 180 into 10 180 into 10 and y is same 195 because for this area centroid of this area is 5 centimeter above this point so 190 plus 5 so it will become 195 so if you calculate this again 119.217 newton per mm square actually if you wanted to calculate this then you will calculate in another way by simply if you want to calculate uh, shear stress here then how to calculate then we have found shear stress at uh, this section bb is 1.068 then we have to simply multiply by b small by divided by small b uh, this is larger width is 1 centi 180 centimeter divided by this is smaller one is 10 so if you multiply this then you will get 19.217 this is same okay so for understanding we have calculated differently but if you want to calculate in shortcut then you can can calculate in this way too <clears throat> now if we can consider a section in this web portion now if you want to calculate the CR stress at this neutral axis then how to calculate CR stress at this point so you can see that we have drawn in large image of this cross section so at neutral axis we will get two areas first area is this one second area is this two there are two areas 
सो फॉर्मूला विल बी क्यू इज इक्वल टू एफ अपॉन बी आई ए वन वाई वन बार प्लस ए टू वाई टू बार बिकॉज वी हैव टू सेक्शन सो वी हैव रिटर्न टू टाइम्स सो क्यू विल बिकम एफ वी ऑलरेडी नो हंड्रेड किलो न्यूटन सो हंड्रेड इंटू थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाई बी इज बी वी हैव टू कंसिडर एट दिस सेक्शन एट न्यूट्रल एक्सिस सो इट इज टेन एंड आई वी ऑलरेडी नो वन एटी टू पॉइंट सिक्स फोर सिक्स सिक्स इंटू टेन टू द पावर सिक्स नाउ मल्टीप्लाइड बाई वी हैव टू कल फाइंड ए वन वाई वन सो ए वन इज दिस वन एटी सेंटीमीटर इंटू टेन वन एट्टी इंटू टेन इंटू वाई वन बार इज डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर सो इट इज वी हैव ऑलरेडी कैलकुलेटेड फाइव दिस इज वन एट्टी वन नाइन्टी सो इट इज वन नाइन्टी फाइव प्लस ए टू वाई टू इज एरिया ऑफ दिस क्रॉस सेक्शन इज दिस पोर्सन इज ए इज एंड दिस इज टेन सो टेन इंटू हाइट इज दिस इज टू हंड्रेड दिस इज टू हंड्रेड फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर सो दिस टेन विल बी माइनस सो वन नाइन्टी सो इट विल बिकम वन नाइन्टी इंटू हाफ ऑफ दिस सेंट्रोइड विल बी एट हाफ ऑफ दिस हाइट सो वन नाइन्टी टू बाई टू वन नाइन्टी बाई टू ओके सो दिस विल बिकम द सीयर इज एस एड न्यूट्रल एक्सिस तो इफ यू कैलकुलेट क्यू न्यूट्रल एक्सिस देन यू विल गेट ट्वेंटी नाइन पॉइंट वन जीरो न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वायर सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी कैलकुलेटेड न्यूट्रल एक्सिस एट थ्री पॉइंट्स नाउ इफ इफ यू वॉन्ट टू ड्रॉ दिस ईयर स्ट्रेस डायग्राम देन यू कैन सी दैट देर इज अमेट्री बिलो न्यूट्रल एक्सिस एंड एव अ न्यूट्रल एक्सिस सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू प्लॉट देन यू कैन प्लॉट इजली सी सपोज दिस इज आई सेक्शन we want to draw the shear stress distribution then we have already found that shear stress at this point is zero and shear stress at this point is zero because it at top fiber and bottom fiber we have found it is zero and from neut so now we have calculated the shear stress at various points various points of this cross section so we have seen that at this point it is zero at top and bottom fiber because of symmetry it will be same above the neutral axis and below is the neutral axis so we have calculated sorry we have calculated this and this is i section so this is neutral axis then at this point shear stress is zero at this point it is zero and at this point also it is zero and at this point we have calculated 1.068 because we have calculated at this point and at this point it is 19.217 we have calculated which is in line 19.217 and at neutral axis we have calculated 29.10 and at this point it will be 19 because of symmetry 19 19.217 and here it will be 1.068 so parallel in a parabola shape we have to Meet here. Here you can see that uh, shear stress changes abruptly from 1.068 to 19.217 because of the difference in the width from here to here. So it will become it will be increase abruptly. Then become maximum at neutral axis. Then reduce again. Then sorry, this will be in line. Then it is decreasing. Then it is here. So this is the shear stress diagram, shear shear stress distribution of this across this I cross section. I hope you understand. Thanks for watching.